Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about the Yakima Spare Ride uh, bicycle rack which I have. I just received this bike rack uh, from a friend of mine who was coming from US and we are actually going on a road trip this Saturday and he dropped in from US today to Bangalore and then uh, I got hold of this Yakima Spare Ride. Uh, it's a bicycle rack. It's a two bicycle rack. You can mount two bicycles on it uh, a full length full size bicycle which you can mount on this and I'm going to mount it on the tire rear tire here of my Isuzu. So I'm going to do the entire mounting uh, as a DIY. So I have few tools which I need to unscrew the, the rear tire and then Put the plates and I will take you through how this rack can be installed and how effective or how good this rack is all about. So first I have to remove the tire bag which is right behind my tire and then get access to the nuts uh, so that I can remove the tire and then mount the mounting plate which will hold the Yakima spare ride onto it. Go about installing that by removing the spare tire back at this point so first of all i have to remove this spare tire bag i hope it comes out easily there you go now the next step is to get the tires out so i've got a lock here which i need to unlock so that i can unscrew it not sure if it still works and the, the Passcode is the same. Let's see if it works. Yes, there you go. I've removed it. Now I have to remove the screws here and then take out the tire so that we can put the mounting plate into it, which will hold the Yakima spare ride. So guys, I finally managed, managed to get my uh, tool in place. Uh, this is uh, a wrench which, is, which I bought from Amazon and this is good enough uh, the adapter is long enough for it to reach the nuts here so I can easily open it. So let's do it. Uh, one more thing, it's better to wear uh, gloves because your hands are going to get dirty. I do have gloves but I think it's better I use that. So I'm back, I've got my gloves. Last one to go out. Ah, not bad. Just loving it. Still tight, you have to use your tool again to unscrew it completely. There you go. So all four nuts are out, so I am I should be able to remove the tire. Now this tire is quite heavy, so you need to be a little careful around while handling a tire like this. Wow, look at the size man, crazy. So let me put it down here, okay so that it doesn't roll off and if some vehicle is passing by it should not cause any any kind of accident now it's time for us to put the mounting plate here now this is the tricky part i'm not sure if it will fix into these four nuts exactly the way i want it so let's see how it goes so guys uh, this is the mounting bracket which you see this is a plate which goes into this and this is the tongue where the yakima spare ride sits on uh, so that you are able to mount your cycle onto it. Now the tricky part is that I'm not sure if these holes are positioned in the right way so that it fixes here. So let's see how it works through. Is it a success or not? We'll get to know now. Okay, there we go. It's all set. So we have the mounting bracket and the tongue installed correctly. So now it's time for us to put the tire. So there are three tongues of different sizes which is available based on the tire size which you have. So you'll have to choose the right tongue so that it comes out correctly in terms of uh, you know getting, getting the Yakima uh, tire right fixed onto it. So let's see if I can lift up the tire and put it inside so that we're able to see if the tongue size is right enough uh, for the Yakima spare ride to fix onto. So let's do that. So as you can see, there are 
three tongue sizes one is the one which is already installed here then you have a smaller one here and a slightly bigger one depending on the size of the tire uh, you have to choose uh, the right tongue size uh, which will which will go into this mounting plate so this is something which you need to be careful of because this will decide whether the spare ride will be able to mount correctly onto the tire or not so point to be noted in terms of while you're doing the installation to choose the right tongue size the reason why i chose the yakima is one uh, this is a very rugged cycle mounting system second it looks good third uh, the profile or the footprint of this is it's a very low profile one and when you're not mounting the cycle uh, mm -hmm. it looks very nice right side right side this way yeah, yeah. cool that goes in mm. this is interesting it is v time hmm v time productive v time that sets it there and now it's what do you call this time the moment of truth okay this goes in ah oh. like oops lagi nahi chalo it's like a leap of faith oh. wow man <laughs> finally 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 no not not there yet hope it goes in is it rotating yeah, it's no yeah no it's it not is. rotating no 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 wait 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 on lock it so that it goes in this one you lock it and then it it's it hooks on to the screw so once you lock it it will start rotating on its own so you are not able to unscrew it you put this key here and lock it so what happens in the process is that it just oh. yeah releases the knob from the screw and you are not able to unscrew it so when you unlock it it sticks on to the screw and then you are able to unlock it now what has happened the whole process is this tire is locked by this also so nobody is able to even if you remove these four yeah, screws yeah, you you'll not be able to take it out and that's the safety or security mechanism which they have given uh, for uh, the tire mount and the point is it neatly fits on to the tire so hugs the tire can take two cycles right? yes so what you need to do is whenever you are mounting the cycle you just lift it up you just there's a button here you just lift it up it's locked so you can you can mount two cycles here uh and uh, on the opposite direction so one cycle with the front tire facing this way. and the other one facing the other side so that's how you mount this uh the cycles onto it and this is the yakima spare ride cycle mounting system it's very easy if you look look at the profile itself here it looks so nice it you know it it's Actually not jetting it's out yeah. yeah it's not jetting out or protruding out and when you are wanting to mount the cycle you just lift the lever here it gets locked into position and then look at the height also so from the ground if you are mounting a full size cycle it will have ample ground clearance also how is that so, so what we did is we have mounted the yakima cycle mount spare ride uh on our own which gives you a great satisfaction but apart from that i'm liking the whole uh, look and feel of the uh, the cycle mounting system so this also comes with a locking cable which you see here uh, to lock the cycles so if you once you keep the cycles on on the racks here so you can just use this cables to secure the cycles and it's a good quality cable and looks strong uh this will help you to secure the cycle as well so you have uh, a secure mount for the yakima spare ride as well as for the, and the cables for locking the uh cycle as well and this loop what you see is for running the cable through and you can lock the cycle uh as well okay guys thank you for watching the video uh please like and subscribe and comment as every youtuber says i'm also saying the same thing and uh stay tuned for more videos uh from us uh signing off from tipsy gypsy this is me deepak and swapna bye bye
Bye.